all know that measuring body fat is really important to helping your clients see progress. The thing is that one of the best ways to do it is using a skinful caliper. And in order to be able to do that, you really have to have very precise technique. So today, we'll be demonstrating specifically which sites to use, how to apply the calipers, and how to read them. One important thing when you're taking body fat is to know that your client should be in anatomical position with neutral body alignment. Oftentimes, they'll try to help you by elevating their arm or moving their leg a little bit, and you don't want them to do that. You want them to stand with neutral alignment in anatomical position with their muscles relaxed. That's the best way to get an accurate reading. We'll be doing uh, several different sites today. The first one we're going to do is the biceps. The biceps measurement, you're going to kind of locate somewhere midway between the shoulder joint and the elbow joint at the cusp of the biceps. When you do the measurement, you really have to pull that skin away from the muscle. So you have to be a little aggressive, and it is oftentimes a little uncomfortable for your client. So I normally warn my client ahead of time, you may experience a little pinching and discomfort. Pull the skin away. Apply the calipers a few centimeters away from your fingers. Then release the caliper and take your reading. All right. First sight. Second sight will be the fold at the pectoral muscle. It's right there in between the, the nipple line and the shoulder. Okay, it's taken on the diagonal. You're going to pinch, pull, apply your calipers a few centimeters away from your thumb. Keep your pinch in place. Release the caliper and take your reading. The next site we're going to be doing is at the iliac crest. You have to find the hip bone there. And once you find it, it's on the diagonal at the hip bone. Pull the skin away. Apply the caliper a few centimeters from your fingers. Release the caliper, but maintain your pinch. Take your reading. The next sight we'll do is the abdominal sight. It's slightly to the side and above the navel. Again, get your pinch, pull away. Apply the caliper a few centimeters from your fingers, release the caliper, and then take your reading. Okay, I'm going to have you turn. The next two sites we'll be doing, we'll be doing the triceps and we'll be doing the scapular measurement. Once again, with the scapula, you've got to find the, the place where the scapula comes together in a V, so the bottom of that bone, and you're going to take that measurement right below the scapula, right below that bone at an angle, pull the skin away, apply your calipers, release, take your reading. Once again, it's very important that you really get aggressive and pull that skin away from the muscle. Also, oftentimes when you take the scapular measurement, your client will try to help you by leaning forward and you know, exposing their back more. Make sure their shoulders remain back and down in neutral alignment in anatomical position. Then the final measurement we'll take is the triceps, again, midway between the elbow and the shoulder joint. And you're going to measure it, pull the skin away, apply the calipers, release, and take your measurement. That's all there is to it, but it does require a lot of practice to be able to actually get really good at doing this. The sites are very important because you want to take it at the same site consistently each time you remeasure this client. So very important, you're really precise about locating those sites and on your, your application technique. Very, very important.